Ron, great to have you back on the show. Uh, it's been a really interesting time in terms of the volatility of the market, the fact that financial conditions are tightening, uh, and of course the IPO pipeline has really essentially dried up since the start of the year. So walk me through the quarter and the puts and takes of it. Well, I think you just said it. I mean, for, on one hand, uh, our global wealth business, which includes uh, net interest income and asset management, had record quarters. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a business that we've been growing for the years, and uh, it was a great quarter. On the other hand, you know, our institutional business uh, was, on one hand, strong. Our advisory business was very strong. But equity issuance uh, across the street was down 80 percent. We were not immune from that. So that was certainly a headwind. But overall, a very great quarter, considering that uh, the equity markets uh, were, were really, really weak in the first quarter. Yeah, as we just mentioned, a record net interest income, which was up 38 percent year on year. Uh, and, I, and I realize Stiefel is a more interest rate sensitive firm, or at least it's seen that way by analysts. Uh, how does that speak to just the incredible moves we've been seeing in the bond market and where you think that goes through the year? Well, there's the question, not only for, for Stiefel, but for our, the market in, in general. Uh, you know, they, uh, the, the market's forecasting that the Fed's going to get to 2.5%. You know, taken in isolation, that would be very good for Stiefel, uh, but also good for banks. Yet bank stocks, uh, you know, are selling off. And I think that is because the market's also wondering if the Fed is going to go to fast and meaning raising rates and induce a recession. You know, my view is, is look, there's no question that monetary policy was too easy uh, last year. But uh, we've got to be a little careful that we don't swerve in the road and, and suddenly just try to be too, too tight uh, because that will have a pretty negative impact not only on the markets but the economy. Ron, what's your read on the uh on retail investors of all stripes. I mean, we obviously went through uh, 2020, 2021 with a lot of new people entering the market, a lot of do-it-yourselfers, options trading and short-term uh, speculation at zero-cost commissions became the game. That has seemed to ebb to some degree. I know you've added some you know, financial advisors on the full-service side, but how does that bump up against the, the uh, client activity that you're seeing right now? Well, our client activity, our clients are, are very engaged. Uh, we, we do not uh, participate uh, in, in the zero commission and what was really going on, the meme stocks and all of that frenzy. And a lot of that was, again, uh, a lot of stimulus checks got deposited in trading accounts and people were sitting home because they couldn't do anything else. And I know that uh, that seems like a long time ago, but it was just a year ago. And so that, those volumes in terms of that segment of the market are down significantly. And in terms of, um, you know, if you look across the, the industry landscape at this point, I know you've been, you know, kind of an acquirer of, of sort of mid-sized firms out there. Have any dislocations in the market or any opportunities that you feel like, you know, are underserved and you have the opportunity maybe to add? Well, we're always looking, and uh, and we always want to be in a position, uh, you know, take advantage of opportunities. Uh, this this market, I think there will be a little bit more uh, pain in the market before you see some real opportunities in terms of uh, just equity valuations. It, it's going to be, uh, as I said, uh, investors need to be cautious here because uh, the Fed is very hawkish, and uh, it's hard to see with a $50 trillion equity valuations on a $25 trillion economy, kind of hard to see how uh, values go up significantly. But uh, there's some downside risk until the Fed kind of settles on where they want to go.